All right, Drake Riggs here for MMAmania.com with Gleason T. Bow. You know him, of course, one of the biggest veterans in the whole tournament. If not, I mean, 50 plus fights, man. So, I mean, Gleason, how you doing, man? Good to be back, right? Yeah, good. I miss you, no? Long time. My last fight in PFL. I'm back. <laughs> yes, very good. More happy, more strong, more power. <laughs> <laughs> always, man, always. So, I want to get this right out of the way, Gleason, because I'm sure everyone mentions it to you, but. How many people bring up the Habib fight to you still? Does it get talked about a lot to you? <laughs> that's how many people say. Ah, yes, man. This, um, all the time. All the time. The people, hey, man, you, you win this fight. Man, you win this fight. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> man, everybody tell this fight, you know, because very tough fight, you know, close fight. I think I'm more, more. I mean, I'm put more punch, more take dice. I think, I think, I don't, I don't know. Happy, my, I'm taking win this fight too. I mean, was it surprising for you to like watch his career afterwards and see how good that he went on to be, having you know been the guy who everyone thinks beat him? Yeah, yeah. I never, I never did the fight. You know, for a big surprise for me, big surprise for Khabib too, because everybody. Me, uh, Khabib, no tough fight, you know, oh, close fight, I don't know, yeah. My, I'm, I'm talking to my coach, everybody, yeah, yeah, tough fight, my you win, it's good. I, I remember the referee, the up the arm for Khabib. Man, everybody <laughs> surprised Khabib, why I cry? Crazy, yeah, very, I, I never forgot this time, you know, because now big name, you know, tough guy, the, the, because this guy, man, they the, the kill everybody, same like easy fight, you know. In this fight, very, very, very tough, very, very close. Yes, and obviously, once people still talk about, so one to remember, man. But obviously, we're coming up uh, on the 2022 season for you, and I mean, you're coming off two wins from last year. So, like, what's the confidence level like, Gleason? How are you feeling going into this one in terms of how far you can go? Yeah, my, my first time in, in PFL, you know, the, the first fight, they change a lot, you know, and they fight the, the Brazilian guy, this is my friend, the Zephyrin, tough guy, too. I'm feeling no. No flu in the fight, you know. May, may I'm feeling more tight. No, mm. no, no, no flu in the mm. fight. I think the feeling more comfortable, you know. Um, I'm long this time. I never long time no fight, you know. The first time in, in PFL, same like shiny. I mean shiny mm -hmm. for the show. Second fight, a little better. The last fight, I mean, I mean more comfortable. I'm go for finish. He finish the fight first round. Now I'm in waiting for same same mentally for finish for good points because this good hole is for PFL. Yeah, gotta get them points, right? <laughs> yeah, you know you finish first round, good points. You up up more comfortable, you know. Of course, man. Of course, and I mean, was that kind of the big takeaway for you? Like last season was like. All right, you know, you're so you've never been, you know, doing the point system before, right? So kind of a new thing, and you're like. All right, this season, let's we're going for that kill even more now. <laughs> yeah, same like now I understand the the, 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 the points, the hulls, you know. Now I'm training a lot for good points. Mm. Então I know first how to keep going, keep going. You know, I mean long a long time this business, you know. I don't have a more surprise for me. I have everything strike, Wesley, grappling. I'm go for fight. Go see my like street fight. This this my <laughs> mentally now. Of course, man. <laughs> of course. And I mean, last season you had the fight with Rory, which was a big win for you, and uh, one that he didn't agree with. You know, I'm sure people have come to you about that one too. But like when you look back on the Rory fight and that whole thing, are you hoping to rematch him at some point? Kind of shut shut him up a little bit uh, at some point in the season. Yeah, I never, never. Uh, after fight, Rory they talk a lot, blah blah blah. Man, it's man. I mean, I mean, I, you you show my fights in UFC, so many fights, close, same like this Khabibi, you show my fight in me, Melv Gilad, close fight to take me away this fight, uh, Jim Miller, more fights, very close, I mean, I never talk, you know, yeah. never, I mean, back for training, go for next fight, you know, no, blah, blah, cry, cry. I'm very sad. I mean, very sad for because they talk a lot. I mean, I mean talk for Ray Self, I mean, talk for Perfel, man, put this fight for fight. Because I know, you know, I know, I mean, this, this time I mean broke. <laughs> I mean, finish. No more talk. 
All right, there we have it. But first, man, you got uh, Al Salawi in front of you first. So thoughts on the opponent right in front of you, though. How much do you know about him? Like, like you said, you've seen it all at this point. So it's going to go in there and do your thing against the first opponent. Yeah, yeah young guy, tough guy, you know, the, the champ for bravery, good show. Good, the new guy, my good experience. Um, I'm training a lot because I know no easy fight, you know. This first fight, I think the very tough fight. But I mean, waiting for everything, for strike, for for grappling, for wrestling. Because, I mean, watch this guy a lot. This guy have a good strike, good kicks. I have a grappling too. A lot of fights is finish, you know. Just no, 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 no easy fight for anybody. Tough fight. I'm in mean, I'm in comfortable for this fight. Of course, man. I mean, all these opponents that you fought, so many in your career, when you kind of look at all of them, I mean, I'm sure Habib's up there. Uh, Rory's a good one, too. But, like, the toughest opponent you've ever... I mean, you fought Nick Diaz in your UFC debut, Gleason. I mean, yeah, who, yeah. Who's, who's the toughest guy you've ever fought? Is there someone who stands out? Man, my, uh, my first fight in UFC, Nick Diaz. <laughs> wow. It was a uh, long time. Yeah. <laughs> 2006. Man. So many tough fights, man. So many. I, I remember we fight Rafael dos Anjos, mm -hmm. tough fight. Um, Jim Miller, mm -hmm. uh, Jim Varner, Kurt Pellegrino, very tough fight, very tough opponent, you know, because good strike, good power, good west, grappling, uh, Khabib. Man, a lot of tough fighters. So many. Yeah, so many, <laughs> so many. So, so only UFC, I have a 29 fights. Yeah. Right? A lot of fights. Don't, I mean, fight everybody for division. Right? Any, any fights, tough guys. Don't, no, no surprise for me. You know, Tough guy, let's go. This no surprise. <laughs> Absolutely, man. And I mean, when you look at everything too, like, do you have a proudest moment in your career so far, Gleason? Of course, you were going to get that a million dollars, and I'm sure that'll be right up there. A nice title to have for you. But as, as of all your wins so far, do you have a proudest victory? Yeah, man. Me, me, now I'm very excited because I mean this business, 28, 23 years, you know, a lot of fights. Uh, my dream, man. I mean, go the champ for PFL, stay good money, stay safe because all my life, I mean, dedication, my sport, you know. Então, I think me more comfortable for my business because I mean, work hard every day, they train every day. I mean, stay, stay healthy, good diet, good lifestyle. This is not fair. I mean, work a lot, they train a lot, no, a lot of fights. They finish my, my, my career, no have a good money, no have a comfort, you know, for my, for my me, for my family. So my, my big dream, a good time in PFL, a good support for my family. Of course, man. I mean, you mentioned it right there. Like, how much longer are you wanting to fight for, Gleason? You've had so many fights. You've had a full career. Are you, are you looking at, like, if you win this season, you're like, oh, that's a pretty good retirement way to go out? <laughs> <laughs> man, yeah. Man. I never, uh, my first fight pro, pro MMA in Brazil, I'm 15 years older. Mm. My coach put for my fight. I remember, I mean, uh, I remember this time, I'm like, man, I'm 30 and I mean, no more fight, you know? Now I'm in 38, <laughs> I'm feeling better for 21. Yeah. The physically, mentally, more stronger, performance better. So I don't know, yeah, you know, I'm stay uh, healthy, stay happy, good, good performance, keep, keep going, keep going. I don't know, stop, maybe 15, 17, <laughs> maybe we change the mentally, the people, you know, they get, right. because uh, so many fighters, 30, 40, 50, ah, too old, too old. Maybe no, I mean, pro for everybody. Maybe I mean, pro for the world, maybe 40, 42, much better. <laughs> we'll just have to wait and see, right? See where it goes. But all right, Gleason, I appreciate the time so much, man. I'm going to leave this on a fun question for you, all right? So a uh, would you rather, all right? So if you couldn't be a fighter and you could only choose between being a professional dancer or a singer, which one would you pick? <laughs> Se você não pudesse ser um lutador, se você só pudesse ser um cantor ou um dançarino, você escolheria o quê? 100% singer, because this is my dream. Okay. This is my dream lifestyle. All right. Very nice, very nice. I'm sure you got some moves, though, you could bust out, right? You can get in a little dance sometimes. Yeah, yeah, I mean, dance, I mean, you know, lambada? 
Não. Uh -uh. Yeah, lambada de, 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 de Brasil style. Okay. Okay. This is my friend, the king of lambada Brasil. Eduardo Yonou, Beto Barbosa. Yeah, this, I mean, dance, this, I mean, dance to the show this guy, you know, for okay. profession. I'll have to look it up. I'll have to yeah. look it up. But, all right, Gleason, best of luck, man. Can't wait to see you back in there. Appreciate it so much. Appreciate it. Yes. <laughs>